this game to be outlawed. Are you kidding? It's great! Personally, I find it an instructive window into the male psyche. Besides, where else can we see the Wickershams get destroyed? So he can be a walking wedgie, too? So he can be part of the pack? I know, boys, Elaine. They're genetically programmed to want to challenge other males in combat or sport. <laughs> to throw things. To hit and be hit. To chase and be chased. To pat each other on the bum. Which is gross, but an important male ritual nonetheless. If we don't help Russell get a chance to express his manly side, he'll never feel like one of the boys. I'm on the football team, too. I'm the mascot. Well, half the mascot. <laughs> I'm the donkey's butt. Ow! Uh, Elaine, I know what to do. Mimi's got a plan. Did you know Russell's third cousin once removed is Dwight Skookum of the Calgary Cowboys? You don't say. Football is in his genes. Oh. We've got two things going for us. Lodeman's big mouth and a small brain. Hey, Morton, is Dwight Skookum really Russell's dad? <laughs> Game started yet? We're sure to play it, Rusty. Come on. What? Uh, Mimi, what did you... Just wait. By intermission, he'll be thanking me. You mean halftime. Oh, whatever. Elaine, he's just warming up. I don't care who his dad is, he sucks! Time to put him out of his misery! How are you gonna do that? The quarterback sneak! Last play of the game, Ricky! We're gonna give you one last chance to show us how good you are! Hey, bro! 
Brock to catapult you to the finish line? The end zone. For the home run? Touchdown. Whatever. Don't forget, we're going to work on a science project after school. Gee, Mimi, does it have to be today? We still got two weeks. See you after school, Russ man. They asked me to hang out with them at McSevens. Russ my man, why are you hanging out with these geeks? Maybe this is a good thing. Russell is more evolved than the Wickersham boys. Perhaps some of his better qualities will rub off on them. X, X. What more than? Some days are many faces. Some days I face alone. Standing in the face of danger. Facing the world on my own. And I The Wickershams. A B C D E F E H. Yeah. Hey Brock, I made it to H. Don't say it. What? That you may have possibly underestimated the influence those vile jerks would have on Russell? A minor glitch. <laughs> when the going gets tough, the tough try again. You need help. You've fallen under the Wickersham spell. But luckily, we've caught it in the early stages. We can save you. Save me? I don't want to be saved. Of course you do. Besides, you're the one who wanted me to hang out with the guys. Hang out? Yes. Become a half-baked Wickersham clone? No. I gotta go. I can't be seen with people like you. What do you mean, people like us? Do we, uh, forget it. I guess it's like they say. If you love something, set it free. If it's yours, it will come back to you. If it doesn't, it probably forgot where you live. <laughs> in there never come out? How many? Well, lots. Greeley keeps them, and we can never get them back because of Glenn. The mad dog. Once, Brock had this real special football, and... We never talk Ow! about that! Got it? Two years back, Brock got this football signed by his hero, Joe Jockster of the Windy City Windjammers. One day, it sailed over Greeley's fence. We know it's still there, but Greeley won't give it back. And that dog? Well, everybody knows he's rabid. Um, Brock? Uh, Mr. Wicker 
Shim, sir? You're a day late, Finkel. Look at how the something ripped. <laughs> Come on, Brock. Give the guy a break. You know, Russet, if there's one thing I hate, it's being disobeyed. But Brock, he, he gave you the football, right? I've been thinking. It's time to see if Randy here really has what it takes to be one of the gang. You mean, it's time for him to be... Initiated. Herbert Finkel, see me after class. Love something, set it free. If it doesn't come back, hunt it down and get your revenge. A B C D E F G H. Why, hello, Russell. I'd like you to meet my trusty Power Splasher 2000, currently filled with the most repulsive liquids known to man. I must confess, I've dreamed about blasting you right out of the stratosphere with this baby. But then I realized, doing that would make me just as despicable as you. I figured, surely I could be a better person and rise above all of this. Then I thought, nah. Consider us former friends. Rustman, you done good. You have proved yourself Wickersham worthy. <laughs> almost. Uh, almost? There's one more thing I need you to do. Get my Joe Jocks to decide regulation football out of Greeley's yard. But, but, what about the dog? Tonight, 8 o'clock, be there. Or be a dweeb. <laughs> Last guy we tried to initiate, he went over the fence to get the ball, and no one ever saw him again. Huh? What do you want? Out. Excuse me? I want out. They want me to get Brock's football out of Greeley's yard. I'll be killed, murdered, badly hurt. You just want out to save your own sorry butt. What about all those pranks you played? What about Herbert? What about me? I'm sorry, Mimi. I got sucked into their evil vortex. But I can't take it anymore. And they'll never let me go. I know things. My life is over. Snap out of it, Russell. I mean... I suppose, technically speaking, I got you into this. That's true. So now I'm going to get you out. But how? Never fear, Russell. Mimi's got another plan. So here's what we're going to do. Hide out in Mexico? No. The Yukon, then? No. We're going to do what no one has been able to do in two whole years. Rescue Brock Wickersham's football. That's your plan? If we do that, the Wickershams will let you do anything you want, including quit. Good plan, Mimi. Except, you're forgetting about the rabbit dog! 
Remember that skinny mailman? They took him away on a stretcher. They said it looked like a shark attack. You know why? Glenn is part shark. Bradley! What about the Wegmans? They moved because of that dog. It slaughtered all of their cats. No, Mr. Wegman got a job in Flin Flon. Yeah, after the ninth cat. Bradley, you are not helping! Just remember, if Glenn's ears go back and he bears his fangs, run. <laughs> Homemade chocolate doggy treats. That's your great plan? Laced with enough of saffron sleepy herbal mixture to knock Glenn out for 24 hours. Can I have a sacred admirer? Hmm. Chocolate, beef brisket, and kibble. My favorite! Did Glenn eat it? Can you see? It's too dark. Hey, Rudy, that you? Hide in the bushes. I'll take over from here. You ready, Riley? Mm-hmm. All right. Easy there, tough guy. You need some perfect ingredients. <laughs> Wrong! Nothing covers the face of Piggly! Do you understand? That was the last one! You're not coming out till you find it, Rupert! I found it! I found it! Watch out! Mimi? What's Mimi doing here? get you out of all this as smoothly as I hoped. No worries, Mimi. I'd rather be the king of dweebs than a wickersham goofball any day. Mimi? Yeah? How long do you think we're gonna be up here? Not long. Just until morning. Till 